It was a short hop to the island of Isla, one of the Inner Hebrides, to see the future location for a slightly different method of generating quite chunky amounts of renewable energy. Let's go, let's go. So Andrew, we're in this ludicrously idyllic spot, an exquisite tidal inlet between two islands in Scotland, and you want to put in huge distressing turbines to generate electricity, which will ruin the environment. There, there's, there's <laughs> even... <laughs> <laughs> so so they're, they're, they're tidal turbines, so they're like wind turbines, <coughs> but in the water. They're, ti they're tidal turbines, they're three-bladed, uh, open-rotor turbines, they sit on the seabed, uh, they're about 30 metres to the, the height of the, the top of the tip, wow. um, um, but we're putting them in about 50 metres of water, so there's a good clearance, uh, so the you know, vessels will still be able to go over the top of them. Right. Um, so it'll look exactly like it is, it is just now. The, uh, it'll, it'll remain identical, so what you see now is what, what you'll see once the devices are in. Right. And the reason for putting them in this location is because of the, so there's a strong tide going through. There's, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a very strong tidal flow here. Um, as, as the tide comes in, it floods in from the south and then uh, ebbs back out, uh, running at about uh, seven knots. So we've got a, a good strong tidal flow. Right. Um, but it's also it's, it's an ideal location, partly because of the depth, but also because uh, it's sheltered from uh, the wind. So we've got Isla to the west and we've got right. Jura to, to the east. So we've got it's, it's a sheltered location as well. Right. And in terms of uh, environmental designations, it's, it's, uh, there's no real issues here that, right. that we've found through all the, the work that we've done. So right. it, it's, in that sense, it's ideal. The reason for the location then is the strength of the tides. Mm -hmm. I, mean, you, I mean, I did notice the ferry that goes across is definitely not steering to, or it doesn't look like yeah, it's steering no, towards it's, where it's going. It's like going at an angle to fight the tide. It is just a struggle against it. You see yeah. the, the, tides, the tides flooding here and it can flood up to about uh, uh, seven knots. Yes, there's a good tide here, and well, that's, that's, that's part of the reason that we're here. Water, yes, uh -huh. yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a good speed. It means we can get a lot of energy out right. of it. People have put single devices in, uh, in in different places across the world. This will, will hopefully be the, the first project where we put a, an array in. We put 10 devices in. Right. And uh, what you learn from that is you learn how to do it consistently and you learn how, to, uh, how the, the turbines interact with each other. Right. Yeah, that's an interesting years. thing, though. Is, is there, are there locations around Scotland, then, that, that are suitable to put in literally hundreds yeah, of I mean, devices? Yeah, I mean, Scotland is, is, is very lucky. We have about 25% of, of Europe's uh, a tidal stream resource. When, you're, when that's installed, so this is 2014, yep. it's going online, and that's when it'll be, all be done. But how much does that generate? Yeah, so it's, it's 10, 10 one megawatt devices. Right. Um, so that would produce about 30 gigawatt hours per year, which is about the amount of electricity that uh, the dialer uh, uses. Right. So for a population of about 3,500 plus the, the industry associated uh, with that. So Isla would, uh, the, the amount of electricity is, is about the same over a year right. that, that Isla would use. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. So, it would, so those 10 turbines in the sea that you can't even see yeah. will supply all the electricity the whole island. Ab needs, ab is... Absolutely. So it's, 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 it's a great project. Yeah, yeah. Join me in the next video where we look at how a whiskey distillery can power itself and an electric car. <laughs>